brand new. We're talking about a dramatic shift in the president's numbers as he begins the G8 summit in Northern Ireland. President Obama's approval rating dropped eight points since just last month from 53 to 45 percent. The number of people who disapprove of Obama went up nine points plus after a week of revelations about the extent of the NSA surveillance programs 43 percent of people questioned say that the administration has gone too far when it comes to restricting civil liberties what does it all mean to help us break it down is John King CNN's chief national correspondent John first and foremost welcome to New Day good to have you with us brother good morning great to see you all all right so we all just went through the numbers there very quickly the question is how do you explain this drop Look, don't overinvest in one poll, never overinvest in one poll, but there are some clear flashing danger and warning signs for the president in our new numbers this morning, Chris, Kate, and Michaela. Number one, uh, let's look at younger people. The president, remember back in the election, both elections, the young people have been great for the president. Well, you mentioned the NSA controversy. Young Americans, more than anyone, concerned about privacy. They don't like their phones, their emails being looked at by the government. Look at these numbers. The president's approval rating among young voters down 17 points in just a month. That's a huge swing in one month. The disapproval up 16 points. Uh, that's a key part of the president's base. That's a big deal. Now look at independence. Again, the the president's going to win Democrats. He needs independence. There's another big one there. Ten point swing in the approval rating right there in just a month. So people, as they hear about this, they're concerned. Now, they actually support the idea of the government tracking terrorists. They think this president might have gone too far. This is a little too much government, a little big. So if people get to the competence question, can a Democratic president, a president who believes in government as an instrument for good, if people start to doubt that he can effectively manage the government, that's trouble.